What's up guys, Evil D here. So today I've got a bit of a proposal for all the World of Warcraft players out there. Now this video isn't for the Esperantists who already follow my channel, but this is just for the World of Warcraft players. So my proposal is that I will teach you guys a foreign language from nothing to fluency just through World of Warcraft. So basically, I will provide gaming videos where we start with nothing, and then at the end of it, we'll be basically fluent in the language um, if you're doing what I'm telling you to do along the way. Now, the way I'm gonna do this is basically utilizing the Pimsleur language method. Now, the language I will be teaching you, though, isn't like French, Spanish, or anything like that. It's called Esperanto. Now, Esperanto is a created language. Now, before you just jump aboard, go, whoa, what's this created language crap? I wanna learn a real language. Esperanto is a a real language, it's a living language. It's got somewhere between 200,000 to 2 million plus speakers and it's quite well used within intellectual circles. Now, the reason I'm choosing this language is one, because I speak it fluently, but also two, because it's a great language as what they call a um, stepping stone language. It's basically the easiest language in the world to learn. So once you learn this language, you can easily step up and learn other languages. So if you've always wanted to learn another language and you love gaming vids, well then I've got the best proposal for you. So yeah, we'll start. Now I was thinking probably of a low level character um, and as the character like progresses through the game, I will actually teach you new words as we go. Now the reason I'm not starting with a high level player is because I actually quit World of Warcraft like six or seven years back. Now I actually want to show you something right now. Check out this. I've just come back into the game probably like two weeks ago. I've got like a, a couple of low level characters I'm playing around with. But this is my 70 character which they managed to actually bring back from the dead. I remember when I was in the chat with the Battle.net guys and they're like, um, you've been a while away for a while there, dude. Uh, let's see what we can do because my account was actually suspended slash banned So they unbanned my account. I don't know why it was banned Maybe because my brother got a hold of it or something and just like sold it off or something But anyway, they recovered one of my accounts and this is a 70 warlock as you can see But check out the gear it's rocking man. It's got the nemesis skull cap and all this type of stuff um, Yeah, that's pretty bad But this character wasn't actually like 70 when I left it as in like that was the maximum level. This was my twink. I actually used to go out to the battlegrounds and just own the hell out of everyone with this character. As you can see, Grand Marshal, Mage Blade, um, the Marshal's stuff. I, like some of you guys are probably like, what the hell is that nude purple stuff? But back in the day, man, this was the good stuff. This was like the best of the best that you could get for a twink at 70. I was one-shotting people with my Warlock. So I'm... I'm not going to actually like play this character in any sense anymore, it's just going to be kind of like archive, but I just wanted to show you um, what I did get up to in the day. Anyway, so back to the whole thing here. So yeah, if enough people show interest, you can show interest by subscribing or just leaving a comment in this video, that you would like to learn Esperanto while we play World of Warcraft together, then I will do this. I will put this course together. Now you're probably thinking, that's a pretty big undertaking to teach me nothing to fluency. Well, it is a big undertaking, but it's something I've been doing for years. I've been teaching people from nothing to fluency in this language for years. Now, you're also probably thinking, so. I know you said it's a stepping stone language, but where else can I use it? Well, Esperanto is actually used in a lot of international like, um, events and meetings and also organizations. It's even recognized by UNESCO, so it's it's got a very large backing behind it and a very well-off backing because a lot of Esperanto is high up in the intellectual circles. And yeah, it's, it's a highly utilized language, so it's a created language which makes it kind of cool because like it's the only created language in the world that's got native speakers and it's designed to be easily learned so it's the best stepping stone language anyway that is my proposal if you guys want to check this out you want to give it a shot I promise you this will be the most awesome thing you do in ages you'll be able to say hey I'm watching gaming vids while learning a language how cool is that just chuck me a subscribe if I see enough interest I will fire this up, I will do this. So yeah, chuck me a subscribe and I'll see you in the first lesson. And if you're not there, well then, that's your loss now, isn't it? <laughs>